Welcome back to the Arcane Isles. Last episode, we spawned on this tiny island, unlocked our magical powers, and expanded our islands. But today, we are setting up bigger farms, venturing into the nether, and gaining some new friends. So if you want to see more magic and mysteries unlocked, you're in the right place. Let's get started. We have lots to do today. Uh, hopefully it'll be a productive one. <laughs> so jumping right in, I think the first thing we're going to do is actually craft some armor because I've been a little bit kind of lazy with that, I guess. But it does actually have the opportunity to give us some pretty good buffs and stuff. Oh, so we still need the boots, but then we need some mage bloom fibers around it in the enchanting apparatus. All right, we'll do the fibers first and then I guess we'll start with the helmet. Hey, there we go. We'll do that for the chest plate. And lastly, we will do the boots. Since we now have our armor as well, I thought we would look at the threads here that we um, have in our quest book. So we need three source berries and three mage blooms with our blank thread. I think if we do it like that, it should work. Awesome! So now I can tick that one off and it gives us another blank one, so which we can then I guess use for this one. So I think it was like something similar to that. I'm not sure if it matters exactly which way you lay it out. Hopefully that works. Awesome! And now I can tick that one off as well and then I need to figure out how to actually apply it so I think for example if I is it shift nope <laughs> oh wait there we go <laughs> okay so can I place that one on there so now if I no grab you does that have yeah I think it does okay so now if I do the starbuncle things, maybe on the boots, because like it's a speed thing. Does that? Oh, <laughs> just put them back on. Need to click over there. I'm not doing that part right. <laughs> okay, and now if I wear them, yeah, it's got starbuncle one on it. Okay. Oh, another thing actually we can do is the dominion wand. So that's in the enchanting apparatus. We just need two source gems, a stick, and a gold ingot. So we can definitely do that. Grab a stick and a gold ingot. So I'm pretty sure this is used when you have like familiars and different like things that you need to tell them where to go, I think. I um, don't think I'll dump, jump into the familiars just yet. I might use the Starbuncle one um, soon on one of the farms. Actually, let's just create it right now, actually. That'll, we'll do that. So four gold and one of the crystals. Yay! <laughs> Definitely going to have to dye it a cute color as well. Oh, we got some Starbuncle shades, a jukebox, and a pig step. That's cool. <laughs> oh my god, there's sheep over there. Um, hello. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna grab my leads and a fence post. Please don't fall into the lava. Okay, you can come there. And you can come, but don't go near the lava. Oh my gosh. And then we can name them to remove them from the mob cap as well. Make sure I'm on the right. There we go. And now they won't despawn either. Ah, oh, they're so cute. Okay, well now we have sheep. That's awesome. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I think next up as well, I'm going to try doing this island soon. Um, I might do that in a minute though, because first of all, oh, I'll empty out some of this stuff. So I want to organize some little islands in the middle here um, of like the four sort of corners I guess and that's gonna have all of my like farm stuff on it but I need to figure out I guess their size and shape and if I want like bridges I guess going over to them or how to sort of lay that out I guess so I'll grab some dirt and some slabs try not to fall off the edge So I'm thinking of dropping them down a little bit. How am I going to fit a circle in here? <laughs> Put 
it's not centered. Should have done it off that one. Okay, um, let me have a look. Yeah, it needs to move, the whole thing needs to move over one. Damn it, okay. I will try and fix this and I'll be right back. Okay, to get it to look symmetrical, I had to make it way bigger than I wanted. Otherwise it was gonna be too small. And it looks kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not sure. <laughs> I might change the way that the paths connect to the islands. Obviously trying to build on a diagonal is pretty hard, but I think we'll leave it like this for now. Ah, I don't know. Okay, so I need to make obviously three more so everything's a nice pretty circle and then we're gonna plant up these areas with different crops and we're also going to add or move the source links um so like for example this one over here could be the source berry farm and just make sure that's definitely centered i'm pretty sure it is <laughs> and then we can like pop that on top or vice versa and then if we start planting all the berries around they will grow and fill up the sauce jar. Now obviously sauce berries are very prickly and they do do damage to us so I do have to be careful about that but I am hoping soon to get the starbuncle to collect them for me. Actually I might just, oh whoops those aren't <laughs> breaking that's okay. I might put a light sauce there it is looking a little bit dark. Beautiful. So now as they all grow up that'll fill the sauce jar. So yeah I'll build our other little circles around the main island and I'll be right back. Okay so we have good news and bad news. The good news is I've finished our little um, farm islands so they are looking cute. We've got four of the same islands. They're all symmetrical and even and looking beautiful. The bad news is my sheep somehow glitched slash despawned over here um, and I lost the leads when that happened. So that was annoying. Uh, we do now have pigs and wolves though, but also bad news, I don't have any bones to tame the wolf. So that's a thing. And also this vexing wheeled walker spawned while I was building as well. So. I have to figure out how to use him. I think they're similar to like an iron golem, I think. And I was also getting a few more gems in between me building and stuff like that. So I need to grab my seeds back out and also like some of the other plantable crops. So we'll definitely do some of those. And I need to get some pumpkins too. Do I have my, yeah, I do have my hoe, <laughs> just checking. So I'll start over here. I'm um, not sure exactly where to place the water sources. So I'm going to pop all of my wheat over this side. But I think this side I'll do the flax. I think I might leave a little bit of dirt down here as like a sort of path. I think that could be cute. Over this side, I think we're going to put the Mage Bloom flowers, but the only problem is we only have two seeds. So yeah, I'm going to need a lot more source gems, but for now I can plant these ones, even though I only have two. <laughs> I'm definitely going to add a agronomic source link and a jar over this side as well. So yeah, I'll keep grinding for more um, source gems and for more mage blooms and we'll continue filling this area up. And then I was going to grab a pumpkin. Where were they? Over here. Pop those there and maybe the melons over here. That might take a while, but that's okay. <laughs> I could actually add some mage lights. If I'm careful, can I? Yeah, there we go. Cute. While it's night time, one thing I might actually do is grab, oh, is that logs? Grab some of our wood, because we've got quite a bit. And I want to try and make some of the functional storage um, drawers and things like that. So I think I might make, I guess a few of the big ones, but then also some of the little ones as well. So if I make a whole bunch of chests 
and then I'm gonna make a couple of is it not like that okay I guess I need oak and vanilla wood for those oh no okay I can do it that way yeah strange all right I'll make a few more of those then but why can't I do the four by fours okay well I'll place a few of these here for now I think don't know if that looks weird but we'll roll with it <laughs> and then we can put like some of the things we've got a lot of in there like sauce berries for example might put some of these logs in there um i was just lighting up my crop field because i forgot to do that and i can hear a slime over here oh my gosh so this is technically a swamp because it's a mangrove swamp so they can slime but I haven't seen one slime before. Ah, no stop. <laughs> oh that means I can craft more leads because I lost the leads when my sheep despawned some or like glitched somehow. Yes that's awesome and plus I guess slime balls could come in handy for other things. Maybe spells? I don't I'm not sure. Yay we've got a new block either way that's so good. While it's raining, I'm thinking I might try to craft the next island tablets we need. So we've got this one, which is pretty expensive, but it'll be worth it in the long run. Um, so we need three blocks of the gem source stones and I've got two ready, but I think I have enough to make oh, a few more actually, because I forget they only need four, not nine. And then we needed a diamond and a plank hopefully it doesn't matter which one because i turned all my blue ones into logs so i am silly and it needs a vexing log <laughs> so now we can do that I had it the whole time so this time so i don't waste any um like free dirt basically or blocks i'm going to build out with the wooden slabs and then i will quickly take these down as the island is growing i think that's what's gonna happen so can i still place you yeah okay and place you there and now we're going to do that oh my god okay oh no never mind <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> wow. This is so cool though. Except I'm gonna have to <laughs> open up part of the geode to like get back out. So that really just like straight up grew a geode. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, okay maybe I should have summoned that closer I have to make sure I get the right clusters and I'll quickly light it up in here a little bit so now that I've got an empty source jar I'm thinking I might put it over here with these and I whoop, didn't mean to click that button <laughs> can pick these ones that are what was that yeah anyway I can pick the ones that are fully grown and then that will slowly hopefully fill up that jar over here I did obviously light up the inside of the geode but I'm a little bit worried now that things will spawn on the outside but I've fixed up the path out to here and we can Ooh, I'm nervous Ooh, what was that amethyst dust Ooh, interesting and the shards that's so cool <gasps> okay um, obviously I don't have silk touch at the moment but that's fine we just need the clusters or the shards really for because that we can use to make the gemstone source gem so if we go back over here we can use the amethyst shards to make gems I think yeah <laughs> I was like oh I hope I'm right about that yeah so that's way more um like renewable or not way more but i guess it's a little bit easier than trying to get the lapis oh i already checked that one off that's right so we can conjure a deep dark island that's pretty spooky amethyst blocks oh we don't have deep sight yet so we can't do that one but i did want to do this one to do a desert because i thought that would be really cool so we need bla blazing arch wood sand and earth essence so I think I'm going to make that island next and that will be off the back of this one over here. 
So as the sun is rising, we can get this one going and get an island, a desert island, which is so cool. Okay, um, get my axe ready because I want to try to break as many of these blocks as, blocks as we can. Oh, this one's building in a different formation. Oh, interesting. That one's a lot smaller. Well, once again, I've made the island too far out. <laughs> hmm, okay. Oh, I needed to add source jams. Okay, interesting. So I think I could probably make it bigger later. That's all right. I might grab um, a few fences and put them over here and we'll let this spawn some hostile mobs um, overnight so we can hopefully get some more mob drops. So I'm not sure how far my um, harm spell will reach, but obviously the zombies can come to us. So that's okay. Cause I would love, love, love a carrot. Still no bones. Okay. I'm gonna go over there and get this spider. Oh, there we go. I think we finally have some bones. So now I can go try and tame our dog if it's still around somewhere. <laughs> Don't tell me it's fallen off or despawned. Well, he shouldn't have despawned because I gave it a name. Oh no, I think we've lost the dog. Okay, so I just redid the desert island um, ritual and made it a lot bigger. So this time now it should be about the same size as the other islands, but it used up like two and a bit of the sauce jars. That was so much sauce. Uh, so I'm going to have to get more of that going soon. But now look how big this island is. It's well, it's the same size as the others, I think. I tr hopefully I did my math right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something over here because it's gonna bug me if it's like uneven, but we'll figure it out. One thing we're gonna have to do is, is craft a diamond pickaxe because we are going to, and also a bucket, because I think it is time I built a nether portal. <laughs> so if I turn this into my water spell, I can just pop that there yeah and mine up the obsidian this might take a while i'll be right back look how many mobs have spawned this is wild um oh gosh i don't want that creepers to blow up no there's a carrot there and I need the carrot. Okay, let's see quickly, because I need that carrot. Oh no, I shouldn't have looked at both of those. Oh no. No, 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 no. no. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, that was not really worth it. <laughs> okay, I'm quickly going to try and light this up because I just died a whole bunch of times trying to fight mobs and it was not a fun time for me. So I think we're going to have to build some sort of mob farm soon because I cannot be trusted around hostile mobs. Uh, okay, I think that's the middle. Looks pretty close. So we are going to finally build another portal. That's cute. Okay, and then... We will light it and we're just going to have a little peek in there. And it's a creepy lava biome. 
that's cool i guess it's cool that there's all like the oh the biomes you'll go biomes though Ooh, like a lava lily okay yeah no i should probably get out of here i'm not equipped for this so we can tick this off awesome and we do need yeah blaze rods <laughs> and we can do tier two stuff once we get blaze rods so we're gonna have to definitely do that soon yeah i definitely need to get a little bit more prepared so i'm gonna get some cobble i'm wondering if i should make a diamond sword i think i might just because i need all the attack um sort of help i can get <laughs> oh i do need to make a bow that's um something i haven't done yet so I'll grab that and I think I have some string. I'm wondering if I should upgrade it to a Ars Nouveau Mages bow. Yeah, we can do that. A block of gold, source gem block. Do I have enough source gems? Yeah, I do. Cool. And I've got one manipulation essence left. It shoots just like a normal bow, but I think I can put a spell on it. So if I was to put Harm? Do I just like... This tool may only accept spells that do not contain a form. Okay, so I need to create... We'll get rid of that for a minute. So that is now set. Okay, I think it still uses my arrows though, so I have to be very careful because I don't have many. I guess I'll go into the nether. Uh, I hate the nether. Here we go. So I'm pretty sure we were heading just straight east. Oh my god, okay. Um, like literally right here. And I can hear Blaze already. What is that? Oh my god. Some sort of mushroom block? I like to play it very safe in fortresses and put up a lot of safety bars. So you'll just have to deal with that. <laughs> okay. Anything good? A bomb. <laughs> I mean, I'll definitely take the source gems. That is amazing. Looks like we're right above a nether wart room, which is awesome as well. But there's no nether wart. Did the lava just burn at all? I mean, I'm still going to need the soul sand, right? Ooh, a diamond. That's good. Do I even use the bombs? I'd be too scared I'd mess it up. <laughs> so far I haven't seen any blaze. I heard one when we came in, but I haven't seen any. Oh my god, another what? Awesome. That's a spawner over there. Okay, I found the spawner. I am making a little safety door. Might even block that off. Oh no, because of that. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure how many I need, um, but obviously more than one. Okay. Ooh. Oh no! I was not paying attention to my health just then. Ah. I was getting too confident it was going too well. <laughs> um, oh, I don't have much food. Okay, I can probably go actually harvest my wheat real quick. Okay, I've got a bit of food. Um, I should probably make another shield. All right, let's just do it. <laughs> okay, I'm back in the fortress. And this is clearly somewhere we've already been. And here's so many wither skellies. No, I can't die again. No, no. Ah, run. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm not wearing any armor. So this is extremely dangerous. Okay, quickly eat. Okay, I got my stuff. Do I just go home with eight rods or do I keep going? Oh my gosh, so much fire. Oh no. All right, that's 12. I think I'm going to get out of here. That was very stressful, but considering I only died once, not too bad. 
Oh my god, it's so bright out here. Ah, my eyes. <laughs> so the fact that we now have- whoa, that's a big blaze rod. <laughs> I didn't know I was not expecting it to look that big. Um, yeah, so the fact that we have blaze rods now is pretty cool. Um, I think that means we can kind of unlock quite a bit of stuff, but I might just try and dump, I guess, a bit of stuff out of my pockets. Um, one of the main things we need this for is to upgrade our spell book. So I just needed the diamonds. And pop you there. And we have the spell book. Ah, yes. We are leveling up. Yes. <laughs> so now if we check our quests, we can take this off. Fell. No way. That's cool. Harvest entire trees, mushrooms, cactuses, and other vegetation. Glyph of break. This is what we want. And I think we already crafted it. We did. I think I'm going to try and craft the village island next. It is quite an expensive recipe, but I think we're ready and it will really help with the progression of things. So I know I need a blaze rod and a block of diamond. I know I need an amethyst block. And then I just have to check because it's three different trees. So green, red and blue. Okay, here we go. There, nice. So I need our ritual brazier and I need to go grab a, oh no, oh no, yeah, that's not quite full. Damn it, okay. Hopefully I've got a full one up top. There we go. Pop that one down. So this one I think I'll do off the back of this one. But, oh, first I need to grab some slabs. So I'll just quickly mine up a bit of cobble. Okay, I'll pop that down, pop that down. And now we activate it and I'll quickly try and get rid of some of this. Oh, don't push me off. <laughs> Whoa. This is so cool. Oh wow, those lights are very bright. I feel like I'm gonna have to relocate that house. <laughs> oh my god, they've got like different little textured clothes and stuff. Why are you a shady wizard? And why are you going over there? Come back! I'm gonna have to put a fence around this. Arcane core just chilling there. Is that the shady dude's house? <gasps> we have fletches! Yay! Okay, that's so good. I think I'm gonna put this bed in with this guy and maybe cut down this house. This dude's got a big house too. We can put some more beds in there for sure. Maybe this would be quicker if I make the <laughs> um, spell. So if I go touch and break, which one was break? Oh my God. Look at us go. <gasps> That's so cool. Why are they not asleep in their beds? They're not a gotten lost. Literally, where did they go? We need more than- oh no. We need more than one villager. Where have they gone? Are you serious? What are you doing, my guy? Why? Okay, I think I need to make some beds and try to lure them back and put that gate there. Yeah, go home. That's a good idea. Okay, where's the other guy? I feel like we've lost one, but as long as we've got two, everything else will be okay. I think I've lost the other guy. Can't believe I'm down to one villager. I guess I may as well try... Oh, I'm gonna have to reroll these trades. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's try and... Trade with the Fletcher, but he doesn't have sticks. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you trade, actually? Ooh, that could be useful. Mm, but is it better than sticks? Maybe not just yet. There we go. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. One thing I can now do as well is... Pop down my market stall. Yeah. 
definitely gonna start off with some saplings. Probably just vanilla ones. There we go, and a spruce. Even a birch, why not? Look at us go. The sun is rising on a new day and I think I need to focus on finishing the last two sort of like islands for today's episode. So I'm thinking I'm going to put an island around the geode and I'm going to make it a snowy island, which I think will be really cool because we do need that for one of the um, wilden types to spawn. And then back here, I think I'm going to build just another of the like swampy jungle um, islands, but I'm going to like clear it off and probably put a mob spawner there next episode so I can hopefully get a zombie villager to cure and put back in our village. <laughs> so I just need to get a few more source gems to make sure that the plains um, island that we're going to spawn over there will be the right size. So I am just crafting up a few more of those. I think I need seven. While I'm waiting for the source gems to cook up, I am going to make the tablets we need for the two new islands. So first of all, we're going to make this one, which needs a green log grass block and earth essence. I have got silk touch now on my break um, spell so that is really 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 helpful and then we should be able to make a tablet of conjure island planes so we'll do that and then the other one I wanted a flourishing archwood another log and a diamond. There! Okay, I think I have everything I need to conjure this planes biome over here so if I pop that in there but here goes nothing, I guess. So hopefully once it starts... Oh, the bridge. I forgot about the bridge. Yay! Okay, we did it. And it's getting dark, which is... Okay. Whoa, that used a lot of sauce. <laughs> So I'm thinking I might try and expose a few more budding amethyst. Hopefully there's some more. So I might take down the amethyst soon and have it just as kind of like a shorter amethyst almost growing out of the ground. Okay, this could get dangerous. Oh no, I don't have the right spell. Whew. Don't know if this area actually has to be snowy for the other mob I want to spawn, the wilded one. Another carrot, that's cool. I would love a potato though. Ah. Oh. oh my god, I got it. And I got an ender pearl. Yay! That was scary. Okay, now I think we're ready to summon this second island. Just need to bridge out a little bit. Pop that down, pop that down, and let's go. So our map's looking nice and symmetrical. I like it. I think I'm going to try and fit in some more islands maybe like around here. Um, but I'll have to work out the math. <laughs> and one other thing I want to have a look at while we maybe wait for a little bit of rain on our snowy island is I think I have everything we need to make this um, tablet of flowering. So now we can make this. And then I think I need, so it's consumed on use and I'm assuming I'm going to need a full source jar as well. And augmenting with a source gem will increase the radius by one for each gem. I think I am going to augment it with sand on our desert island. So I'll do that as well. And that way we can get cactus. Okay, I think I have everything I need to turn this sand island into a proper desert. So if I plop that there place that in there we're going to augment it with sand and then pop in a whole bunch oh i didn't even need the sauce <gasps> wow okay that's so cool i thought i would need a whole sauce jar 
Ah, that's so cute. Got dead bushes and cactus and the cactus will grow. Oh, I love it. Okay, that's so exciting. So the last thing I'm really waiting for is for it to rain to see if the snow will fall over on our new snowy island. Actually, I might take this down a little bit while I'm here. That's probably something I can do while we wait for it to rain. <laughs> It still isn't raining, but I have carved out this whole geode. Well, not the whole geode, but most of the geode. So if we have a look, it's kind of just a few blocks floating, but, but I tried to still make it look like a little sort of organic shape geode in the ground. And then we just have the exposed budding blocks now. So I think, oh my God, it's raining. Oh my God, yeah, we're getting snow. Oh, I need a shovel. Oh, it's so cute. We can finally make a snow block. The snow looks so cute. It's, I don't know if it's going to be annoying that it's covering the amethyst. I didn't really think that through, but I think it'll be cute when it's like surrounded in white snow and then we can just like dig the other snow off when we don't want it there. Yay! <laughs> Another biome. <gasps> oh, uh, I might sleep quickly. Be right back. So I think that's where I'm going to leave today's episode. I've had a lot of fun expanding our islands and making everything look so pretty and cute. So next week, I think we are going to get stuck into automation and also fix up our storage with the sophisticated storage. Plus, I'm sure we'll get up to a few other things. So stay tuned for that. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.